my name is Donna McCullough, or I go by Katie usually. Uh, I'm a grad student at the U University of Tennessee in the microbiology department. I'm a first year, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to study, but I'm looking right now into marine phytoplankton and how their behavior can change depending on their environmental stimuli or what's in the system with them. And to do this, I'm actually looking at these model organisms called Prochlorococcus and Synecococcus, or Pro and Syn. And they actually have been shown by another lab on campus that their interactions between each other can change depending on what other bacteria are in the system with them. Um, so we want to kind of understand how this might be happening based on laboratory experiments, but also mathematical modeling and see how things can change based on what, what sort of stimuli we toggle. So we want to study Pro and Syn not just because this other laboratory is studying them, but also because they are very important to the marine ecosystem. So they are thought to produce about 50% of the ocean's photosynthesis. And because the ocean is said to produce about 50% of the global photosynthesis, um, you can think about these two microbes actually contributing about 25% of the world's um, primary production, which is pretty big if you're just thinking about two different microbes. Um, so we want to know what causes them to change their behavior, what causes them to grow better or worse so that we can understand these global cycles of nutrients, these global cycles of carbon in better context.